I wonder how Drist is doing. We did leave him all by himself. Ah, he's fine. He was stronger than all of us combined and far sneakier too. Though even more so now that he's by himself. That is true. But lonesomeness is a weakness that many things of the Underdark can exploit. Many things above ground can do so too, but doubly so in the dark corners of this place. Vonar is right. We will need to be quick if we're to hope to get the raiders before the raiders get drist. You really think the raiders are going to get drist? There are many drow and only one of him. It's as Vonar said. Lonesomeness is a weakness. Ah, maybe we should have had him follow us anyway. Five would have been far too many. And yet four isn't? I suppose we've encountered lots of things that have heard us from a mile off you. Hack, I'm not liking that you're right. I don't like that I'm right either. But it is the truth. We should keep moving. We've got to find where we use that key that you found, Vonar. Indeed we must. Let us press on. Hey ya folks, it's Gikoskia here, and welcome back to Let's Play Menzo Baronson. And wait last, we left off, we managed to find the diamond. I don't know where the diamond was in the wall, but we managed to knock it out of the wall with the pickaxe. I don't know if we still need the pickaxe, but I'm going to hold on to it, just in case. I'm also going to explore this area and find something here. It is a shield. Is it better than what we're using? No, though it does kind of look neat. So I'm going to have you hold that shield. It's just cosmetic. But I like things looking uh, like they match. Now let's keep going and head around here. Down this area and into this room. Horrors, spitting crawlers, emptiness. I much prefer that. Much prefer that. There's even a nice little table here. No ale, though. No welcoming committee at all. What about in here? Again, nothing. No, wait, there's something. Yep, there's something. Quite a few things. So, oh, there's three of them. Okay. Not great, there's only two of them now. Okay, we're pretty well equipped if these hook horrors can't do that much to us. I'm quite glad for that. ETA until we find a rust monster, and then we are not so well equipped anymore. Ooh, if this game has rust monsters, I will not be happy. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. An axe key? Yes, indeed. We have found what we need. So let's go there. Let's first keep looking around. There might be another way we can use this key that's better for us. It's not like the key's gonna break. Okay, we have a door that leads right into a bunch of spitting crawlers. These things really have no help. I wonder what makes them dangerous. Like, really, I wonder what makes them dangerous. Like, they're not destroying our armor. They're not getting rid of anything. Like, what's the... And there's another one. Ah! That does sting. More annoying than anything, really. But still, ow. Do you need some healing? No, no. The only thing that's really wounded is my pride. That'll recover. I hope so. Okay, and here we have another one of these doors that leads to a small room with nothing in it. There's a lot of rooms here with absolutely nothing in them, I'm noting. A lot of rooms with nothing. Now, what about... The door to the south? I bet that requires the axe key. It does. Ah, here we go. Let me open this up. Oh, sorry. Instinct there. There we go. We're in. Now, I'm gonna guess there's something quite bad down here. 
or it could just be a long corridor of nothing. Better open this up as well, I suppose. And the other door on the other side? Yes, yes. Keep all of our avenues of escape open, just in case. There's a door here, too, that we can open, so let us open that door. And go into here, because we've not been into here yet. What is in... Hi, it's a hook horror. I wonder how the hook horror managed to get into the areas that are locked. I wonder if they can open doors with those hook hands. Maybe they have some other way to get into these places. But, oh god. Okay, that's one down. Be careful. There's lots of pillars here that can hide enemies. Like that one. We'll take it. Look there, upon the floor. Our slain foe has dropped something which may prove of use to us. What did you drop? Ooh! I mean, you already have that. But still, if you had two wizards, it would be nice to get a second copy of it. The game... is probably going to be pretty good at giving you redundant spell scrolls. I mean, you could have a party with three wizards in it if you had two mages as your, uh, primary characters, but I wouldn't recommend that. I think it would be a bit redundant, skill-wise. Okay, nothing- oh, no. We can do that, which will open this door. Deeper in we go. This place seems rather peaceful. Indeed it does, but... It's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a fountain. I hope it's still running. If it's a magic fountain, it will be. How are you so sure? People that create magic fountains tend to... take such things into account. Alright, so... Where is the thing we're looking for? We found lots of things here, but we haven't found... We haven't found the fountain. No, we haven't. Perhaps it's the way we first couldn't go. It might be. It might be. But was there a way we could go in? Perhaps you need... Oh, perhaps... Perhaps I need to have these equipped. Will you let me in now? No? Huh. Well, that's a little awkward. I was expecting to... Mm. So what are we missing? We're missing something, that's for sure. Do I... Do we have to sound the horn? I don't think so, but I'll try it. No. No, that's not it. What haven't we done? What haven't we used? There's probably some very obvious thing that we've overlooked. A switch of some kind, or a... Or a door there. Yes, or a door. Ah, how could we have been so careless? Sometimes you'll get preoccupied with things, and... You won't be observant. Just like that. Well, got this door here. And that is not the axe key we'll need, but we do have the key required. Alright, we've done it. And there is the fountain. There's the fountain, folks! Let's see what we can do with this fountain. The fountain was well protected. Even the Dero proved unable to reach it. There must be a magic to the fountain greater than its waters. Perhaps the fountain awaits a sacrifice. What are the dwarven tomes we have found may hold the answer. Looks like we're going to have to go get rid of that gem. Oh, I know, but... I don't want to. But you must. All right, then. Ah, uh, the gift brightens the waters and brings forth my voice. And with it, my welcome. Welcome to the place of the healing waters. 
drink, stand before me, and using the chalice, partake of my purest waters. May the waters heal you. Welcome, for here the spirit of the Black Axe Clan resides. He who stood against the drow bids you welcome. He who sank into the stones awakes. He who stood with the brave beards knows that you have come and asks of you an audience. Listen now. He awakes. Hear me. Long ago we fought the drow and failed. Driven from our homes, we came here, only to meet the same fate again in later years. The renewed ambitions of the drow have stolen everything from us. Everything. You who hold both the chalice of healing waters and the holy symbol of Dumathoin, take up our fight. Avenge the dwarven warriors slain in battle by the Dark Elves. Near the fountain lies a weapon, the Axe of Berlin. In loyalty it shall return to he who wields it. Thrown in battle, it circles back to the hand of its master. A voice cannot wield it, and for so long I have been nothing more than a voice. Take it. In memory of the Black Axe Clan and the Cavern of the Cloven Heads, unleash its anger. Unleash it against the drow. Oh, we shall. Oh, we shall. Where is it, though? It's... it's here. Just need to find it. There it is! Oh, that's an artifact and a half, I'll tell you that much. Indeed it is. And I'm probably going to need that shield that we left before. Aye, that you will. I think that halberd has seen the end of its useful days. An axe that returns to its wielder. Truly a powerful artifact. But enough of that. Let us drink this water. Ah. I don't think I've ever tasted clearer, fresher water than that. Indeed, it's invigorating, rejuvenating. It is truly pleasant to taste. I've tasted better. Really? I've tasted ale. <laughs> ah, true, true. Ah, but... An ale made with that water. It would be something, would it not? Oh, the axe magic does indeed work. What a wonderful thing that is. I'll use it to cleave many a drow skull open. That's the spirit, Vonar, that's the spirit. So, not only have we managed to get the healing waters, but we've also got a powerful item. And I'm going to give you back the shield because, actually, no, I'll give you the shield. Now you have an AC of zero, but more importantly, we have a ranged weapon that can be used in the back lines. I don't think you you can use it. No, no, only a fighter can use that, which is a, which is a good thing that Vonar is one. Now, we're going to save because I don't know if we need the chalice anymore, but you want to bet we're going to keep that chalice. I'm going to keep that chalice. Also, I don't know what save slot I'm using, so I'll use that one and we'll carry on exploring. I bet if we had that dwarf in our party, we could use the healing waters to help them. But, unfortunately, we don't. I'm sure they can make their way to it. I'm sure they've heard about it. All right, we've got some more places to explore. Indeed we do. To the north and to the south. Let us go north first. Also, I should probably have you learn that spell of Claws of the Umberhulk. How many level 5 spells do you have? Uh, I think it's a level 5 spell. Yeah, we'll have you learn it. If anything else, it gives us another inventory. Uh, oh, it's a level 6 spell. Yeah, we're going to have to be careful with those, but we're not likely to get you to level 6 spells anyway. So up here are a few more rooms. And in here we have... Enemies? Hmm, another room with nothing. To be fair, we had to use a key to get access to here. 
it's very likely not even the enemies, not even the monsters, managed to get to this location. Well, if that's true, then how were they able to get into the temple at all? Cassie makes a good point, Vonar. Hmm, I must concede that. And here is something else against it. These things could have gotten in through any hole. True enough, but they still managed to get here. Also, where there's one, there's always about five. But they give, like, no experience, and they're not really a problem. Okay, anything in here? The answer is yes. There is one thing, and it is... Okay, that's a pretty decent scroll. We're gonna keep that one. Also, did you note that the uh, Dwarven Spirit used the same picture for the conversation as the Darrow Dwarf that we spoke to? This was probably the main temple room. Aye, it probably was. No, this area was desecrated long ago, though. In time, with enough magic, it may be purified, but I doubt it will be. I doubt it will be. Do we have anything in here that's good? The answer is yes! We have a scroll of draw dexterity. Okay, that's a thing. Also a battle axe. Is it magical? I'm gonna guess probably not. We have already got some pretty good things. Yep, that is entirely mundane. It gets to go back on the ground. However, this... Oh... That's a Ring of Regeneration! Regeneration? That is powerful indeed. So strong it could even reattach a severed limb! Do you mind if I use it? Not at all, Cassie. It will serve you well. Marvellous! We truly are finding some fantastic treasures here. Treasures of the Lost Dwarfs. And treasure it I will indeed do. There is a monster nearby! The, uh, pause there is indicating that the combat music is trying to flare up. What is in that room? I I'm really curious what's in this room that I've not managed to get to, because I don't know what's opening it. I really don't know what's opening it. leading up. That it is, but we've not managed to find a way into that final room there. What's in there? I am curious, I must admit. But I'm also keen to catch up with those raiders. I'm not one to want to let things go, but yeah, you do have a point. We could be quick and go back and check it. We could, we could. Let's quickly go back then and see if we can find a way to get into that room. It's probably going to be nothing, but I just want to know. I just want to know. Alright, let's rush back. It's not going to take us very long. I bet it was just a switch that wasn't right next to the door. But there's only one way to find out, and that is to have a look. There's some combat music that's trying to trigger. Oh yeah, it's right here. Well, now I just feel dumb. It was right there under my nose. Well, we found it. And all we found were these things. Ah, it wasn't worth it one bit. It was worth it for your peace of mind, though. I suppose, I suppose. We'll just take care of these. And there we go. And there weren't any treasures either, but... Map is now complete. I know it's complete because it's a big, big square. No extra little places where a secret entrance or cubby hole could be. So I'm happy. And so when we come back, folks, we will go up the stairs, perhaps out of the temple once and for all, and to a new area. The game has hinted about a place where myconids reside. Maybe that's where we'll be going. Who knows? All I know is, there's a lot more peril in our future, that's for sure. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. 
Later.